Hi everyone, you're welcome to Social Place channel once again. The right place to get just the right dose for your social challenges. Here on Social Place channel, I remain your chief host, Gretchen Wonder. The topic at the moment is friends over family. As people of the world, we do know that we are born into families. That is, our parents, mom and dad, and all brothers and sisters. And these family members have formed great bond to people that every step they take in life have to do with a trace of their family backgrounds. And in making decisions and also doing things in life as to how to go forward, people tend to take their families along. But I want to give a different view to this because lots of times we have family members that are not willing to support us to greatness. Our aspirations are not their own view. Our plight in life is not really what they support. In this case, I want to look at life from the perspective of our family members and our friends. If you want to look at it critically, you discover that your family members, you don't choose them. You don't choose your dad. You don't choose your mom. You don't choose who eventually become your brothers and your sisters. So, it is what life has thrown to you. But if you want to take things from the perspective of understanding and knowledge, you discover that other people that eventually become close to us as friends are people who we eventually chose. We decide who our friends are. That means that you have a good grounds to take that person to be your friend, especially when it comes to your aspirations in life. You discover that a carpenter will always have a carpenter friend as his close person. And then a mechanic will also have a fellow mechanic as his friend. Because that way, they will share ideas, discuss on things that concerns their line of duty or their line of work and this way it will help them grow better or the mechanic will have an electrician as a friend because their job scope enables them to have things in common and they can better move forward with that work that they are doing. And since it is the source of their livelihood, we can see that there is a synergy or harmony of interest, especially when it comes to finance. But family members sometimes or most times don't fit into this category. Let's say you are a student and then you are not making friends with a fellow student. Let's say you are making friends with somebody that is just hawking. You will be doing yourself a great danger or loss because values will not be added. So first of all, there is a place of choosing of friends and then there is a place of considering who to bring first in some of the decisions that we take. 
Is it your family members that are not willing to support you or a friend that you have chosen who you have seen to be somebody who is willing to help or who have helped you over the years? Now, don't get me wrong. There are certain family members who are very, very close to us in terms of calls, in terms of um, financial support, in terms of career support, and so many other ways. If you are having this kind of family members, then they have better become your close friends. If you are having this kind of family members, please always do well to reciprocate their good that they do to you and hold them in esteem. These kind of friends as family members are what family are actually intended to be. But it is not always like this for people. If you are having certain family members, let's say a brother or a sister, a dad or a mom, who is not about your good and you are seeing it, you know it, it is showing, there are evidences everywhere, then my friend, you really need to be strong in your thinking, in your knowledge, in your understanding. Because if you only say he's my blood, he's my family, and then you are not seeing some of the other things that are coming from these people, then you might end up crashing. You might be too supportive financially and then you will not eventually go far in life. You may end up becoming broke and these same people will not do anything to help you up. If it is a kind of um, good rapport relationship you are trying to make and it is not coming, then you should understand that that is life. They might have found companion with other people of the world and then you are not just fitting in. Maybe your ideas are not aligning. Maybe your pursuits in life has made you people to go differently. This way, you need to understand and then forge ahead. You also need people. Lots of people will say they don't trust friends, friends are bad and all that. The same way friends hurt friends, family members have also hurt family members. The same way you will say friends support, the same way family members have supported people. So it is for you to know the family that you have. Are they the ones that are supportive or are they the ones that are just leeching you dry? Please look around you. It's possible you are having a handful of colleagues, schoolmates, or neighbors that could eventually be a brother in true sense, even as friends. So, sometimes or most times, you discover that friends are a great lot to us than even our family members. So, if you are having that kind of situation, you need to know and understand this depth of life that you may not always carry your family members along, especially if they are not being supportive. You can help them, but you should know that you have a limit because if it comes to you, nobody will be willing to support you. I've got a number of complaints or I've had people say certain things to me as regard this very topic. So, if you are out there, you know your family members are not willing to support, they are not willing to help financially in advice. Sometimes they mock you or they are more comfortable and happy hearing your bad side or your, your, your downfalls. Then, you should begin to think very well and see among your friends who has been there always for you and then give your time and attention and energy too, so that you will have a happy life. Rather than holding family in esteem, you say, we, they are my blood, they are my blood. Yes, they may be your blood, but how far have they helped you? 
How far have they contributed positively to your well-being? This is my take. It is not all families that are like this, but if yours is not being supportive, then you can find solace in a true and good friend. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, I will encourage you to subscribe, like my videos, and also share them so that we can bring this information to people who might be needing them out there. Here on Social Peace Channel, I remain your chief host, Gretchen Wonder. Thanks for coming. Bye.